Hello, this one's uh, some crystals and a gas giant. So I'm just drawing out the basic shapes of everything. <laughs> I ended up calling this picture Mr. Bump because obviously it's kind of, you can tell <laughs> when it's like this. It's not going to be a Mr. Man though. I quite like the way that these crystals are very close. They're inter interleaved with each other. The kind of uh, meshed sort of so I had to sort of mess around with the little bits of paper making sure some of the spikes went behind some of the spikes went in front I'd say that the um, most enjoyable part of this picture um, I spent doing those those gas clouds on the gas giant I I'm gonna call it a uh, class one <laughs> class one gas giant because it looks a bit like Jupiter it's uh, so I'm guessing it's probably uh, it's got hydrogen or liquid hydrogen and boiling away inside it, turbulent clouds and rushing around like storms, just like those time lapse videos that you see. It makes me think of something like Koyana Skarzy and, and the unpredictability of, of the movements of of the clouds and those the spiraling increasing patterns that create their own echoes and become larger and larger and then dissipate. I love the photographs that we've got back from the probes that they've been able to send in in recent decades uh, uh, Jupiter and Saturn and a actually the, uh, the, the, the outer uh, giants as well really uh, they still look good although they are a, a lot less um, they're, they're made of different stuff aren't they so, so there's a lot less uh, visible goings on. They still look amazing, but uh, Saturn and Jupiter, the 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 stripes and banding, the the, the whirls and circles, they're just so inspiring to look at. As far as drawing is concerned, they are endlessly interesting, and and I know there's quite a few uh, artists that's that focus much of their time on painting nebulae and the whirls and gas giants, and and I think that shows just how absolutely absorbing they are. Those photos of the poles and the aurora on the poles and the hexagons created by the concurrent clouds that were whirling round and round and round and the immense gravity that you've got to imagine that crushing this gas down until it's until it's not gas anymore but it's something in between. It's fantastic. I think they're wonderful. As with all of my <laughs> pictures I, I do uh, I'm always dissatisfied with some part of it and in this picture I went wrong by doing those crystals in chalk and then covering them in chalk because the original picture I was sent showed the crystals sort of partially obscured by this cloud this yellow cloud that they're emitting I should have put the crystals in paint and then smudged chalk on top to give that effect but obviously what I did as you can see is I did them in chalk and then put chalk on top and smudged it all into a kind of a pasty mess to detract somewhat from the final piece. The final piece. Uh, and there it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.